In this video, I want to talk about the solid objects in AutoCAD and how you can create and manipulate them with PyAutoCAD. For this, we also publish documentation on our blog. Our blog is called supplychaindataanalytics.com and we publish a series of documentation on PyAutoCAD on our blog. Uh, we also cover uh, other object types, other operations, workflows and, and methods in, Py, uh, in PyAutoCAD. And in this video, I will talk specifically about solid objects. And if you want to see the documentation and the coding example, you can click the link in the video description, which will take you uh, to our blog. So to get started, um, I want to refer to also other videos I made on, for example, how to create a spline in, uh, in AutoCAD with PyAutoCAD or um, how to uh, create ellipses and, and arcs. Uh, and um, how to manipulate helix objects using PyAutoCAD. Um, but as I said in this video, we will look specifically at solid objects. As also in my other coding examples, we start by importing AutoCAD and A point, the two uh, classes from PyAutoCAD that we will use in this example. And we call the AutoCAD constructor to create a new template uh, in AutoCAD. Um, the solid objects that we can create with PyAutoCAD are, for example, boxes, cones, cylinders, spheres, and so on. And here's some code uh, that demonstrates uh, in the comments the parameters uh, that have to be used for the respective method or constructor. Um, and uh, then also examples uh, using those constructors to create objects. Here, for example, we uh, use the add box constructor to create a box. You can see we need here an A point object to represent the original of the box, as well as we need to specify the length, width, and height of this box. And likewise, we have other uh, object types, uh, solid object types being created here. We have a cone. Uh, this one needs also a center point. Then it needs um, a base radius and a height. Uh, we have a cylinder that uh, needs a radius and the height as well as the center point. We have an elliptical cone uh, that needs a center point, a major radius, a minor radius, and a height, and so on. So we have here also examples with an elliptical cylinder, the sphere, a torus, and a wedge. And you can look at that uh, in detail yourself and also execute the script if you click the link in the video description and copy paste this coding example. Remember to open AutoCAD so that that these objects will be created in your currently open AutoCAD drawing. For this, also view my first video on PyAutoCAD, where I give a general introduction on how to run PyAutoCAD um, together with um, the AutoCAD software. Okay, we execute the code, um, and this is how uh, it would look like in 2D. Now, this is with a wireframe um, activated. So if I change the uh, rendering mode here to, for example, realistic style, it would look like this. So you can see here various object types, uh, the ones we listed above in the script have been created. And we can manipulate those uh, solid objects by accessing uh, relevant uh, properties. For example, we can access the volume of a box. We can also um, access a centroid um, a property for a box. Uh, for a box, we could also um, access um, the moment of inertia and, and so on. There are various... Um, the properties that we can access in PyAutoCAD for uh, solid objects, such as, for example, this example, a box. And again, in the uh, documentation that I'll link to in the video description, you can go through this yourself um, and execute the code. So this was a, a very basic uh, introduction um, to solid objects, just to show you that you can create and manipulate solid objects in, in AutoCAD with Python using the PyAutoCAD module. And in upcoming videos, we will be looking at, um, at other operations and other object types um, to, to uh, develop a more comprehensive documentation for PyAutoCAD.